Money Talks is sponsored by Astound Broadband, powered by Grande. And according to Nerd Wallet, the average American household spends, get this, $2,628 on entertainment per year. And entertainment spending, of course, increases when there are more people in that household. That's not a vacation. That's just fun spending. So you really have to budget for it. Well, when does spending on fun and your hobbies become a problem? We discuss in tonight's all new Money Talks. You work hard for your money, and you are the boss on how to spend it. So what is the one thing that financial advisor Rolandis Johnson insists on when it comes to fun money? You know, the main goal is to make sure that whatever hobby it is and whatever, whatever thing that kind of gets you going and kind of relieves your stress, make sure it doesn't interfere with the things that you need to live day to day. That's the one thing I advise on. And why is that? Because things like going to concerts or movies every weekend can get you in real trouble if you don't prepare for it. You know, go to as many movies as you can, but make sure your mortgage is paid as well before you start going and watching all of the movies once a week. Six months ago, Rojo went to a conference, and the theme was focused on what people prioritize. And they were saying that people will plan longer for a three-day vacation than they will for 20 years in retirement living. And so that's that's a real that's a real issue that couples face. Okay, so he mentioned couples. That's something where people need to work together, and Rolandis is all about compromise. Being on the same page with making sure the things, the necessities are taken care of first. Now, after that, you got money left over. Everybody's gonna have, you know, your your spouse may like knitting or they may like, you know, um, craft hobbies, but then the other spouse may like, you know going golfing or going to or going fishing there's there's numerous things out there but the ultimate goal is being on the same page as a couple and making sure the the necessities are taken care of because those can really get in the way of your day-to-day -day living so that's why rojo says you should budget for your hobbies and fun and then a great deal of stress will be relieved yes sir and i i'm a big advocate of that when i'm sitting down with clients um you know I, we 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 set we set budget and, and investment plans all the time and so I always cause them to pause, okay, well, how much money is there going to be left over for you? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, if, if you're not happy, none of this is going to work. And remember, the average American spends just under $2,000 per person per week on vacation. Well, that's above and beyond the fun money that we just discussed. Really tough these days to have it all in America, isn't it?